All right, guys, so welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing with the missions today, and the first thing that we got to do is investigate the top of Mount Ursula. That's actually a really cool name, which I believe is to try and find evidence to see who went missing. I'm trying to get a good idea of where this reserve stands, and right now, it's definitely up there. There's certain areas of this reserve where you can see huge distances, and you can spot animals that you want to get from far away, which for me is exactly what I want. I want to be able to see what I'm dealing with from far away. I think that's why I don't really like Hirschfelden too much. Because you have to wade through so much in order to come across an animal. It's not necessarily that they're not there. And I know a lot of people that do like Hirschfelden. But for me, just the setting of this and like the open areas that it has. And I mean, even sometimes like it's quite dense. Look at that. If you look down there, nothing but trees. But it's got a nice mixture to it. I'm really enjoying it at the moment, as you can probably tell from the intro. I, I ended up staying playing the game for like 10 hours one day and ended up getting myself a diamond Rocky Mountain Elk, which was a beautiful animal. It looked like something out of Lord of the Rings. I've got most of the stuff that I want already from the reserve. I don't know. I got kind of addicted to it. I got an albino puma. Oh, it wasn't a puma. It was an albino mountain lion. I think I got a gray or I've got a couple of grays. I'm getting a bunch of pieballs. I've already got myself a diamond turkey as well. I mean, I'm getting everything that I wanted apart from my new obsession. Okay, this is my new obsession. Melanistic Rocky Mountain Elk or a melanistic mountain lion. I really, really want one. And I think I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this reserve trying to look for them because I know a bunch of friends and a bunch of people in the Discord have found them. Some people have said it's very difficult to get them, but... Other people have said, really easy. I jumped into the game a couple of times and found one straight away. So I'm going to keep doing it. But let's get to the top of this mountain and find out if we can investigate where the people have gone. I got a short chance to speak to my dad about all this. He told me that while he always has my back, he plans to retire permanently from the warden position. He doesn't know what he's going to do next, but he feels that his health problems stop him from doing the job properly. If I'm being honest, I always counted on him coming back. I told him that I felt like I was just keeping his seat warm. I think we both knew that his recovery was going too slowly for this to be a short-term thing. He seems confident that we've got this situation covered. More confident than I am, actually. We just need to keep pushing on. Let's find Baden and bring her home safely. Okay, so we're on the trail of Barden then, which, if you guys remember right, was who we found out about over at those tents. I did want to touch on something as well, though. Expansive Worlds always do a very good job of trying to bring emotion into the storyline. I think almost every single reserve, if I remember right, has had some kind of story which ties family into it. Like the family-run reserves or some kind of, you know, passing of the torch from one person to another within a family or within a generation or something. I really like the fact that they've done that. The only downside to it is it can get kind of sad. <laughs> like he said here, his dad's not well enough to be able to run the reserve anymore. So, you know, he picks up the torch this time. I think at least that's what where it's going to go. Oh, here we go. Look, that's definitely her gear. There's a yoga mat and everything. Is that a journal? Normally, I wouldn't recommend this, but maybe we should see if she's written anything that can help. Yeah, like where she's gone. Okay, Barden's journal. The walk here was an absolute nightmare. I've lost my phone and my favorite water bottle, as well as absolutely ruining my brand new shoes trying to get away from a bear. When I hit it in the nose with a water bottle, I felt bad, but there was nothing else I could do. I wonder how the guys at APAR will feel about me throwing a water bottle at a wild animal. I hope they appreciate that it wasn't my first choice to encounter a bear in the first place. I mean, as things go... Throwing a water bottle at a bear is probably on the lower end of what people are going to be worried about. They're probably more concerned about you, you know? <laughs> I've been trying to meditate, but I'm constantly distracted by what seems like animal sounds coming from the trees nearby. The accountants are taking forever. I've been waiting here for ages and there's no sign of them. I'm definitely at the right spot. We picked this mountain as it stands out so much. I should be easy to find. Really wish I hadn't thrown my water bottle. I hadn't had a drink for hours now and all I've eaten are wild flowers. Starting to feel a little woozy. I hope those accountants bring some snacks and a drink with them. Okay, so the water bottle was full. <laughs> it wasn't like an empty bottle at the bear. It was, it was a full water bottle. I mean, I'd have done the same. Just want to go home. This was such a promising idea. Taking office on a yoga retreat. 
make some money and spend some time in the wilderness. It was almost perfect timing. Now I wish I'd never won a trip out here in the first place. I should think about heading back. Those sounds from the trees have gotten louder. Okay, so is she being stalked by something? I mean, she said that she she threw a water bottle at a bear, but there doesn't seem to be any sign of panic. I guess that's probably what we got to look for now. See if there's any evidence or anything. Yeah, look for clues. I mean, like I say, as things go, if there is a hungry bear or even like a bear that's just been a little bit nosy in the area. I mean, even if you're on its territory, just to get away from that thing, I'm pretty certain that all of us would throw a water bottle at the nose of a bear just to try and get away. You know? Footprints. Okay, so it is still showing the pronghorn logo, but <laughs> I mean, it does say Homo sapiens at the top. It looks like we got more tracks. So did she take off barefoot? Oh no, we got some blood. Is that hers? I think there was a bear track back here as well. Oh yeah, there is. Look, you can see it came down from the tree line. And then went this way. Looks like it intercepted Those her. tracks are headed straight for where she was. Yep. I think she got tangled with a hungry bear. Let's see. I can't believe it. We followed. We were so close. I need to tell the police. I should... Okay. First things first. I need to get it together. Wait, so the bear got her? How you doing? Are you okay? I'm sorry that you're having to deal with this firsthand. I need to deal with this. But there hasn't been a death in the reserve for almost a decade. I'm gonna call my dad. So he can talk me through the next steps. Before I start making arrangements, there's something I'd like you to do for me. If you think you're up to it. In her journal, Baden mentions winning the trip out here. In all this drama, I forgot that she wasn't just here with the retreat. She was planning on staying a little longer at one of our outposts. There was something strange about the booking. I'm going to make some calls now, but I'd like you to go to the outpost she was going to stay at. I have an uneasy feeling about why she was here. Okay, visit Baden's outpost. Okay, so I want to cover this for a second. I'm actually really glad that they've done that because it's very, very real. Things like that do happen. People go missing in the wild and sometimes, unfortunately, they're taken by predators, whether it be bears, mountain lions or anything like that, especially if they're, you know, dehydrated or if they've not got the food and stuff. It's just a very real thing. At the end of the day, this is a video game. But at the same time, things like that really do happen so i'm glad they've brought stuff like that to light you know you've got to you really really got to know what you're doing have a guide with you or you know just take extra precautions to make sure you're safe tell people where you are all times don't try and be rambo in the wild because there just might be a hungry bear in the trees that really really wants you as food all right so where are we gonna go where's barden's outpost is it up here all right we should have all of that do you remember the truck that we spotted leaving the reserve just before we locked it down well the deputy had some news. Turns out that the truck was stolen from a college campus in Denver just a couple of weeks ago. It gets stranger. The sheriff just got a call from a patrolman in the next county over. The truck has been found on fire, abandoned in the middle of nowhere. It was an anonymous tip-off. I'm not an expert, but I bet that truck was the escape vehicle for our culprits. I'll let you know if the police find anything new. And that was the truck that had the railway stuff in the back of it. I think this is a grey, by the way. I'm almost positive. Should have got a good hit. I kind of wanted to see what was down there, though. Again, I've got a fair few of these greys. I've got myself an albino. I mean, obviously, we're going to get another one. But I really, really want a melanistic. If you come across that today, I will lose it. Okay, she's down. It's actually this. I love what they've done with these missions. I know I've said it a million times, and obviously, you guys clearly know that I enjoy doing the missions. I hope you guys do too, because I just think it adds something to each reserve. And I think the reason why I enjoy Savannah so much is not just because of the nostalgia of me going to Africa when I was little and, you know, experiencing the whole safari thing in Kruger National Park. I, I think it's more a case that every single reserve has its own history because we've done the missions together and i love that and i, I especially love the savannah missions but this one i mean I, I really like the way they're going with this one too we got ourselves a gray female 47.18 kilograms a level three ticks all across the board 
really, really pretty fur type. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this as well, but the eyes look blue. Really, really nice. I am going to taxidermy. Just in case I want to throw her in a lodge or something. You know, any multi-mounts or something like that come along that I want to use her for. All right. So there was a couple more down there as well. What did he actually ask me to do? It was something about the truck, wasn't it? We've got to still visit the outpost. I need you to look for any signs that she came here with an agenda that might tie into the problems we're having. Be respectful, though. All right, we've got a phone. Didn't we already find Baden's phone in the woods? Wait, so... So what we've just picked up right now says Ghost Town and Dig Site are taken care of. It threw me off a little bit because it opened up the journal, but this is exactly what it says. Ghost Town and Dig Site are taken care of. I don't want to jump to conclusions right now, but obviously it's making it look a certain way. I don't think it is going to play out that way, but we've got to find anything else. Investigate more. So we got one of three. Interact. What was this? Her luggage. I, I guess it's just closing things. No need to open it up. Okay, so obviously what we're seeing right now, the, the missions definitely still need a little bit of polishing up because there was apparently luggage there. I mean, it's no big deal. We picked up the backpack. It was just on the opposite side. Oh, okay. We got some lockers. That's the gear from the dig side, isn't it? Look, there's the rock saw. Did they take the blade off for safety, maybe? There's a rifle in there, too? No hunters leaving something like that lying around. I'll be honest with you. I'm struggling to keep myself under control. Not only has someone been terrorizing the reserve, but they plan to pin it on someone else. The question is, though, who? What I believe is that people have tried to hurt us, and the innocents are getting caught in the middle. And the worst thing is, is that I have no idea who's behind it. <sighs> Composure. That's what we need now, right? That's right. Take a breath. We got a response from APAR. They are denying all connections to what's happening here. They say that, while they have sadly been forced to euthanize animals in the past, none of their operations would ever condone the sorts of animal mistreatment that were reported. This never seemed like their MO to begin with. They kill shelter animals because they feel it's more humane than the alternative. They don't come out here to do it. Oh, and to make things even worse, I keep getting voicemails from Bobby Joe Jefferson asking me to call him back. Bobby Joe? We were able to trace the payment for Bond's accommodation. You ready for this? It came from a Green Enterprises. The company was dissolved three days ago. Seems like the person behind Bond's choice to come here was also the one who gave the go-ahead to rip up our railway. That's it. I've had enough from Bobby Joe. I'm going to call him back and tell him that it's not the time. Give me a minute. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Bobby Joe may have solved the case. Do you recall the uranium mine that he was camped beside? Oh, yeah. It turns out that he was camping there because he was convinced that it was hosting some government conspiracy. <laughs> was he right? Well, it turns out that someone had been up to visit the site on more than one occasion. The last time they visited, they came with a truck. Bobby was suspicious, so he tailed the truck as it moved around the reserve. Just before they left the reserve, Bobby lost sight of it as it disappeared into the woods. Before Bobby could figure out where it had gone, the truck returned to the road and drove out of the reserve. Bobby kept tailing them. Once they were out of the county, the driver jumped out, grabbed a jerry can from the back, and doused the truck in gasoline before setting it on fire. Bobby swears to me that the guy who got out of the truck is William Simpkins Jr., Shortly afterwards, he was picked up by someone in a car that matches the description of Junior's best friend. You remember the old chairman I told you about? That's William Simpkins Sr. This is his son. I went to school with him after he got himself kicked out of his fancy prep school. Junior was pretty horrible to everyone at school, but he was especially nasty to Bobby. I won't go into details, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bobby holds a grudge. The spot I'm sending you to is the place where Bobby says the truck took a detour before leaving the reserve. All right, so I just held out for a couple of minutes because I heard a mountain lion call from that tree line. And it was this guy. All right, let's have a shot. All right, so male, 89.12 kilograms. Eight mythical. Trophy type is the skull. Checks all across the board. 37.9. Still looking for that melanistic, though. Don't really care for the actual gold, diamond, silver, whatever it is, if I can find a melanistic. 
I'll have the set complete and I'll be so happy with that. <laughs> right, let's keep going then. I'm going to leave the bear. Actually, what level is it? Yeah, it's a level three. I'll let you live, bear. Follow the trail into the woods. So we get to this point and then go down that way, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. You can see it. Straight over this point. And this is kind of what I was missing when I was talking to people in the live stream. I just couldn't see it. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you guys did either. No idea how you spotted that. Because I was looking everywhere and to me, they just weren't appearing. But some footprints. Whoever it was that drove in here got out. Follow the footprints. Right, well, no sign of a car. Look, there's blood on the ground. Keep following that trail. There's blood? That tree, it's been marked. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a hand? A bloody handprint? That's really not a good sign. Whose blood is on his hands? Look, there's blood on the ground. Keep following that trail. Okay, so... The way this looks then... There's blood that's come from down there. We followed the footprints all the way down. Maybe somebody was injured. And then they've just... Like, taken a minute. Rest against this tree with their hand there. And then they've carried on again. At least that's what I'm getting from this. This seems to be the end of the trail. There's a little patch of disturbed soil. Did they bury something? Yep. What is that? It's a rusty old saw blade. Oh, it's the saw blade that had been attached to the dig team's rock oh. saw. Oh. But why detach it from the saw and bury it unless it was important? Take another look at the blade. It's not just rusty, is it? It's got blood on it. I bet it's the vandal's blood, too. He cut himself on it? Okay, don't touch the blade. L leave it there. The deputy's on their way. They'll probably want to talk to you. I've just picked it up. I think we've just found the missing piece of the puzzle. Great work. I've got an update. Junior and his friend were just pulled over by the state police. Guess who has a nasty gash across their hand? Good morning, my friend. I hope you've enjoyed the last few days of uninterrupted peace and tranquility. I've just said goodbye to the last of the deputies team. They've gathered up all the evidence they think they'll need. While you've been busy hunting and exploring, I've been in interviews or giving statements to the police, the board, and even the local press. I know I mentioned my dad's concern that there was a more spiritual reason for why things have been tough at the reserve. I can't say that I necessarily agree with him, but I'd like to do something to make him feel better. Just before I was born, my grandfather climbed Mount Silver Ridge and stashed a pair of quartz rattles at the top. When I was a teenager, my dad showed me them and told me that they were only to be brought down the mountain in times of dire need. I think that if I bring those rattles with me to the Sundance, Dad will appreciate that I've accepted their significance and paid respect to our beliefs. So, after helping pull the reserve back together, I'm hoping you'll help me comfort my dad. <laughs> I hope I'm not asking too much. It's amazing up there, isn't it? I've only made the climb a handful of times, but it's such a great view. The rattles should be easy to find. They're in a protective case. All right. Mission accomplished. Thank you. This means a lot to me. We don't get to see them? Enjoy the view from the top. You earned it. Our outlook is so much brighter. Just because you're here with us. When I get back from the Sundance, why don't we spend some time hunting together? The media attention has actually had some unforeseen side effects. Some government inspectors are coming out to visit the polluted lake. I guess there is such a thing as bad press, huh? I'm gonna go get ready for that meeting. Hopefully we can get things moving again. Take care. We'll catch up soon. I mean, that is one hell of a view. I've already done this, as you could probably expect. Every time a reserve comes out, I really love doing the exploration side to it. But just in case you haven't seen this, I want you guys to take it all in. Look at that with the clouds. <laughs> it's such a nice reserve. It really is. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. If you haven't had a chance to play it yet, it's worth the wait. Both sides of it as well. Look at that. Over this side too. Okay, so as far as I can tell... 
That brings an end to the missions on Silver Ridge Peaks. Quite an interesting storyline as well. The kind of revenge plot from, I think it was called Simpkins on the board. There was the father and then there was Junior, which seemed to be causing all of the trouble. The most interesting side of the storyline to me, or at least from the missions, was what happened to Barden when she went missing in the reserve. And then unfortunately, it was a predator that got hold of her when she was in a weakened state. I really love the fact that they added that. I don't know how you guys feel about that. At the end of the day, it is a video game, but it does kind of ring true. It's stuff that happens in real life. It's heartbreaking, but it is the thing that happens. So I'm glad they included it. I don't know if that is absolutely the end because Alan did say he was going to contact us again. But I'm not quite sure that's going to be the case. What we got down there? Threes? Yeah, they look like threes. Nothing really to be worried about. I think what I'm going to do, though, is just before we end today, I do want to do a couple of rotations of areas where I have seen a lot of the mountain lions. And I really, really want to get that melanistic. So... We'll take a look, see if we can find it. If not, I think we'll wrap things up. So I'll see you guys in a second. I don't know. It looks like a nice four. All right, let's see what you were then. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got ourselves... That's actually my first diamond mountain goat. And this is what I was talking about, the fur type, white. So I've seen this fur type. There's one called beige and light brown. I don't, again, I can't really remember if I've seen any other fur types with the mountain goat. I would like to, and if you guys know of any, then let me know down in the comments. But cool, okay, what range was that? 208. Uh, we'll taxidermy it again, just in case I want to throw it into a lodge or something. All right, what else can we get? What we got over there? They both look like threes. That's a two. That's a three. That's a three back there as well. 288 meters out. That's like 300. And I'm probably going to get single lung with this, but here we go. 50, 25, and down. Nice. All right, I just took a shot at this thing because I think that's one of the fur types I mentioned before. It's either light brown or beige. Uh, that's definitely not one of them. I think that's just a common one. I just want to see if it is anything that we've come across before. Oh, okay. So this was the four and this was a light brown. Look, you can see the difference. It just looks like it's been rolling around in mud and it's, it's dried over its fur. It's kind of cool looking, but disgusting at the same time. I can never tell if I like it or if I hate it. I mean, we'll take it. What was that range? That was 281. Not bad. All right, where's the other one? I think this one should be a different fur type, though. So that one was light brown. This one might be a beige. Or again, it could be a light brown again. Let's see. It's going to be in the bushes, isn't it? All right. Let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, another light brown. I mean, you can see, though, from the one we got before, the diamond, that was just a flat white. This one's got, like, all kind of stuff in there. It's all embedded deep in the fur. I kind of... I, I don't know. I think I like it. <laughs> and then I see another one, and I'll just be like, ugh. 150 out. Go down. Go down, turkeys. <laughs> Just, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what made the vocalization then. It's probably a bunch of mule day that I just spotted a second ago. So, I've done a few rounds. Or at least around the top part of the map. And I thought I should hit this one up. Because I have had luck here before with a lot of the mountain lion. I just spotted these guys together. So <laughs> I wanted to take him down. I don't think I'm going to see the melanistic mountain lion. But I just thought on the offhand that I do come across it. Two more males here. Is that four turkeys we just got? Give it up. Go down. There we go. Well, I mean, if anything, we found a nice turkey spot. <laughs> All right, where did we actually hit you? Oh, we actually went a little bit high on you. So it was lucky that we took you down. I mean, we'll take it. We got ourselves a gold. <laughs> oh, we've got a silver on this one. Actually got not a bad shot either. We got left lung. 3.9, 7.60 kilograms. All right, is these two up here? All right, what are you? You're a gold, 4.10, 8.34 kilograms. Again, just going a little bit high on the shots. I think it was because I was dialed in at 150. And this one... Should be round about the same. 9.7, 4.4. Okay, that's not too far off. A couple of nice turkeys there. All right, well, no sign of a mountain lion, but 
up there hidden in the trees. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right next to this one that I've marked, there's a white turkey up there. I believe that's an albino turkey. They're actually really funny looking. I've seen a few of them across this reserve, but this is the only one that I've seen that's been walking around. The others have been flying past. I think that was it. That was it. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get you as well. Yeah, you should be down. Not too worried about you. Oh, I'm so happy we actually got that thing because I've got like a couple more animals on this reserve that obviously I, I was saying before that I really want. And this little guy had eluded me for about a day when we was on stream. I wanted to get this live in front of you guys, but... We couldn't get it. Oh, it's a lu leucistic, I think that's how you say it. I, I used to say leucistic, but I've not seen one of those yet. I've definitely seen an albino one, but we'll take it. Nice little turkey. Look at that. <laughs> looks so weird. <laughs> All right, taxidermy it. And okay, let's see what we got with the other one. 8.73, everything's a goal. 4.2, where was that first shot? Okay, we hit him in the back of the leg. The second one was in the wing. That's what disabled him. All right, guys, I got to call this what it is before it becomes an obsession. I just really, really want myself a melanistic mountain lion. If you found one on Silver Ridge Peaks or you've got one yourself, let me know in the comments below or even better, send me a picture over on my Twitter because I would love to see it. But for now, we are going to end some cool animals today and we managed to finish up the missions, which I'm really happy with. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.